I used some parts from a $17 toy RC plane, the motor and the uh, prop. And uh, this is a close-up of the motor. It's geared down, as you can see. That uh, makes it spin the prop more slowly. I glued the motor to the uh, top and the switch to the side back far enough from the prop to allow switching the motor on without any danger to my fingers. And uh, I glued a 10 ferrite super cap uh, to the other side of the fuselage where the cap leads are available to allow charging the cap. A little better detail here. Note the cat whisker hanging down to help keep the prop from hitting the ground when landing. I glued a straightened T-type straight pin for this and a three-quarter inch pylon uh, for stability up top there on the wing. I used a couple of edge uh, connectors cut from a cheap boxy prototype PC board. I then used a, a charger from a toy capacitor plane from Banggood, also available on Amazon, by adding two wires stuck in the spring on the negative side and the positive side on the contact. It's very portable, so I can uh, charge planes in the field. And this is a view of the uh, charger stuck between the pins of the uh, capacitor charging up. It takes about uh, 15 to 40 seconds. Here's a top view of the finished plane. Here's the uh, oblique view of the same uh, plane. And um, this is a 10 inch plate I used to cut the stabilizers from, vertical and horizontal. I saved it as a pattern for the future. Uh, scotch tape placed over the leading edge of the wing and junction of the wing for additional strength. 16th inch balsa to strengthen and support dihedral break and at the root of the uh, wing tip. Same thing on the uh, bottom side. Uh, detail of the pylon is cover that with CA glue to strengthen it. And uh, this is where you can get the plans.